before the Mass. Prepare yourselves well for it. Do not watch it with a cup of coffee in hand. Read the Mass readings to prepare yourselves. Think what you are to thank the Lord for and what to offer to Him this Mass. Remember, you are praying this Eucharist with many other fellow Catholics. During the Mass Stay in reverent gesture throughout the Mass. Pray with the whole family. Join in prayers, response, and singing. At the time of communion, make a spiritual communion. After the Mass, take some moments of silence to read again the scriptural readings and reflect. Mga kapatid, tayo ay lumuhod sa harap ng larawan ng Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno. Sambahin natin siya na nakaluklok sa kanan ng amang nabubuhay magpakailanman. Sa ngalan ng Ama, ng Anak at ng Espiritu Santo. O Jesus Nazareno, katamis-tamisan kong manunubos, sarap mo ngayon naririto kamit ng angayupapa at nagsisisi ng toos puso. Sa aming pagiging walang turing sa iyo at paglimot sa di mabilang na mga biyaya mo, lalong-lalo na iyong di mahahalagang biyaya ng pagtubos. Dinaramdam namin at pinagsisisihang labis. Panginoon ko, ang pagkakasala namin sa iyo, ikinalulungkot namin ang pagiging dahilan mo ng pagpapasa ng krus na iyan. Sa gitna ng mga hirap at kapaitan, Hanggang sa inihandog mo ang iyong buhay sa bundok ng Kalbaryo sa pagkaibig mo lamang na matubos sa sala, ako at ang sangkatauhan. Pakabanalin mo, Panginoon ko, ang aming pagnanais at ipatanggap mo sa amin ang iyong biyaya. Maging tagapamagitanawa ng iyong ina, kalinis-linis ang Birheng Maria, siya nawa. Panalangin sa ikaapat na araw ng nobina. Alalahanin mo ang kalungkot-lungkot na pagkakasalubong ni Jesus sa kanyang kabanal-banalang ina. Dili-dilihin mo ang pagmamahal ng kaibig-ibig na puso ni Jesus sa harap ni Maria at sa gitna ng walang kambing na pagdurusa ng puso ni Maria sa pagkakita kay Jesus. Kami nagkasala o Jesus ko at sa aming mga sala ay karapat dapat kami sa parusang walang hanggan na dahil sa wala mong katapusang awa sa amin ay nagpakasakit ka at inhandog mo ang iyong buhay alang-alang sa aming kaligtasan. Siya nawa. Abagi noong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya, ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukod kang pinagpala sa babaing lahat at pinagpala naman ang iyong anak na si Jesus. Santa Maria, Abagi noong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya, ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukod kang pinagpala sa babaing lahat at pinagpala naman ang iyong anak na si Jesus. Santa Maria, ina ng Diyos, ipanalangin mo kaming makasalanan, ngayon at kung kami mamamatay. Amen. Abagi noong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya, ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukod kang pinagpala sa babaing lahat at pinagpala naman ang iyong anak na si Jesus. Santa Maria, Ina ng Diyos, ipanalangin mo kaming makasalanan ngayon at kung kami mamamatay. Amen. Pangwakas na panalangin sa lahat ng araw. Ama namin makapangyarihan, niloob mong apuin ang iyong anak ang krus at kamatayan 
upang ang sangkatauhan ay matubos at mabuhay. Ang pag-ako namin sa krus at kamatayan dito sa lupa ayon sa diwa ng pagsunod sa iyong loob na ginanap ng iyong anak ay mapagindapat na wang aming kamtin ang lubos na katubusan at pagkabuhay sa iyong piling sa pamagitan Heso Kristo kasama ng Espiritu Santo magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Sa ngalan ng Ama, ng Anak at ng Espiritu Santo. Kapara nung una-una ngayon magpakailan magpasawalang hanggan. Welcome to the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. Today is Sunday, January 3, 2021, and we are in the Solemnity of the Epiphany of the Lord. Our presider for this Holy Sacrifice of the Mass is Reverend Father Jade Likwanan. Please stand and let us sing the entrance hymn. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed be God who sent His Son to save all peoples. May His grace and peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, your presence filled the hearts of the Magi. With great joy, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come to bring light to our darkened world with the splendor of your grace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on and earth, earth peace, peace to people, people of goodwill. We, we praise, praise you, we bless you, we adore you, you, we glorify you, we, we give, give you thanks, thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Lord, heavenly Lord, King, King, O God, God Almighty, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son, Son of, of the Father, Father you, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world, world. Have, mercy. have mercy on us, you take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who on this day revealed your only begotten Son to the nations by the guidance of a star, grant in your mercy that we who know you already by faith may be brought to behold the beauty of your sublime glory through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us now listen to the word of the Lord. A reading from the book 
of the prophet Isaiah. Rise up in splendor, Jerusalem. Your light has come. The glory of the Lord shines upon you. See, darkness covers the earth and thick clouds cover the peoples. But upon you, the Lord shines and over you appears his glory. Nations shall walk by your light and kings by your shining radiance. Raise your eyes and look about. They all gather and come to you. Your sons come from afar and your daughters in the arms of their nurses. Then you shall be radiant at what you see. Your heart shall throb and overflow. For the riches of the sea shall be emptied out before you. The wealth of nations shall be brought to you. Caravans of camels shall fill you. Dromedaries from Midian and Ephah, all from Sheba shall come, bearing gold and frankincense and proclaiming the praises of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. O God, with your judgment and thou the king, and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice and your afflicted ones with judgment. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Justice shall flower in his days and profound peace till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. The kings of Tarshish and the isles shall offer gifts. The kings of Arabia and Seba shall bring tribute. All kings shall pay him homage. All nations shall serve him. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. For he shall rescue the poor when he cries out, and the afflicted when he has no one to help him. He shall have pity for the lowly and the poor. The lives of the poor he shall save. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you have heard of the stewardship of God's grace that was given to me for your benefit, namely, that the mystery was made known to me by revelation. It was not made known to people in other generations as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit, that the Gentiles are co-heirs, members of the same body, and co-partners in the promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us now honor the Holy Gospel. It's rising and have come to do him homage.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of King Herod, behold, Magi from the east arrived in Jerusalem, saying, Where is the newborn King of the Jews? We saw his star at its rising and have come to do him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was greatly troubled and all Jerusalem with him. Assembling all the chief priests and the scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They said to him, in Bethlehem of Judea. For thus it has been written through the prophet, And you, Bethlehem, land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, since from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly, and ascertained from them the time of the star's appearance. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the child. When you have found him, bring me word that I too may go and do him homage. After the audience with the king, they set out. And behold, the star that they had seen at its rising preceded them until it came and stopped over the place where the child was. They were overjoyed at seeing the star, and on entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother. They prostrated themselves and did him homage. Then they opened their treasures and offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed for their country by another way. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We are all in search of God. La tayo naghahanap sa Diyos. Amen? We have been searching for God with the hope that we will get to see the meaning of all this. We're trying to interpret what's happening in the world. And we run to God for enlightenment, for understanding, maybe for knowledge of what to do and what steps to take in this ongoing threat of the pandemic. The gospel offers us two kinds of people in search of God. The first kind of people who search for God is that like of Herod, King Herod. The people who search for God like King Herod are people who search for God for the reason or for the purpose of feeding his ego, of self-preservation. Why do I say that? You heard the gospel. King Herod instructed the three magi to look for the baby Jesus, the promised Messiah, according to the prophecy. And he said for him to do him homage, right? To worship also, to join them in worshiping this Messiah. But of course, we all know what was behind those. He was after to exterminate the Messiah. Why? Because the promised Messiah was a threat to his throne, to his position, to his power. Because according to the prophecy, the one who was to be born will reign as king in Israel. 
So that Messiah must really be a threat to me. And you know what happened that after that, of course. There are just people who look for God to feed their ego. To feed the ego. To feed the pride. Who look for God for self-preservation. Lord, I pray to you that I may have this. I may get this. I may gain this. I may win over them. You run to God. We run to God. We long for God. We yearn to pray. We're excited to pray. Because that just feeds our ego, our pride, to preserve ourselves, to preserve our ambition, our self-interest. And at times, admittedly, we may not be conscious of it. We ourselves are like that. Self-preservation. But there's a second kind of people who search for God. And we can find that from the three magi. The three magi who was in search of the promised Messiah to do him homage. And there are, according to the gospel, there are three marks or signs of those who found the Messiah, who found God, and that we can find and we can see from what happened to the three magi. The first mark of having found God in our lives, like the three magi, is joy. You heard what I, I, what I read, right? The three magi was overjoyed seeing the star stopping where the baby Jesus was located. They were overjoyed. If we have joy in our hearts, regardless of the situation that we are in, regardless of the loss we experience, regardless of being alone and still deep in our hearts, we find joy, that is a clear mark or sign that you have found God. Remember the parable of the hidden treasure in the gospel? The parable of the hidden treasure that there is a man who found treasure deep within the ground. And the gospel says, out of joy, this man sold all his properties, everything, just to buy that piece of land where the hidden treasure was located. Out of joy. How about the parable of the pearl? The parable of the pearl says, a man, a merchant, found a very precious pearl. And what he did, he sold everything that he owned just to purchase that one single special pearl. The parable of the pearl. And that goes the same to us. When we know we have God in our lives, when we know we found God in our lives, we can just do everything. Maybe for some impossible. But because of you founding God, finding God, and having this much joy in you, it is very much possible. The joy. The joy of, of finding God. The joy that, that surpasses all other joys. Regardless of the situation, you have joy within you. The second mark of those people who found joy as reflected to the reaction of, of, of the Magi is prayer. Prayer. The Gospel tells us when the Magi found the baby in the major, they prostrated. They threw themselves to the ground in worship of this baby, of in worship of this promised, prophesied Messiah. Prayer. You found God when you long to pray to worship Him, to thank God, to be grateful. 
for the many things that we have. Yes, we have lost a lot. I mean, yeah, admittedly, we have lost a lot. Lot of opportunities. We have lost opportunities to have reunion and, and gathering during this, this uh, season. We have lost a lot of, you know, uh, interactions. We have lost a lot. But a person who found Jesus have all, would always have a reason to thank God for. To prostrate himself or herself in worship of God. The first mark, what's the first mark again? Joy. The second, prayer. The third and the last, which the Magi did in, the, in, in, uh, in front of the baby Jesus, was giving, pulling out their treasures and offering it and offering them to the manger. Frankincense mere and gold the third but a very important mark of those people who found jesus who found god is generosity giving giving we always say that christmas is giving right but notice while we say Christmas is giving, everyone expects to receive. Everyone longs and yearns to receive. We have exploited Christmas. We have destroyed Christmas. Why do I say this? Because right after saying Merry Christmas, isn't it? Tama ba ako mali? Merry Christmas. We have destroyed Christmas. Christmas is about giving. The example of God giving His only Son to us. And in Christmas, we have received already the most important, most valuable gift that man can ever, ever receive. Jesus. Nung birthday natin, tumanggap tayo ng regalo. Pero bakit ganon? Birthday na ni Jesus, gusto mo pa rin tumanggap ng regalo. Ano ba yan? Hindi ba birthday ni Jesus, we should have, been, you have started giving? Alam nyo, napansin ko sa social media, sa Facebook, ha? I don't know if you notice this, but there's a... There's a flooding of all of this post. Nakalagay dun sa post of, sa Facebook. Merry Christmas. Baka naman, Gcash number. Gcash number. After greeting Merry Christmas, Gcash number. Can you imagine what kind of mentality and culture we are cultivating? That Christmas is about Getting greed. You know what Pope Francis said in his uh, apostolic uh, exhortation, Gaudium, uh, Evangelii Gaudium? Pope Francis said, the world is in danger of uh, uh, devastation, despair, because of the complacent and covetous hearts of people. Covetous. Lagi na lang, lagi na lang kumukuha. Lagi na lang pakabig. What's causing this misery in the lives of the people? Not even the pandemic, by the way. It's because everyone wants to get. Everyone wants to receive. Hindi masatisfy. This is the culture that we are in. Kaya di ba, some years ago, pinatigil na kahit dito sa Makati. Pinatigil na ang bumate sa mga, ang, sa mga security at saka sa mga parking attendants. Or bawal lang bumati ng Merry Christmas. Bakit? Because at some point, some years ago, yung Merry Christmas na connote na, na naging synonymous na penging aginaldo. That is so sad. 
That is so, do, you, do you notice that? Enter any mall here. Pag may nagbati sa inyo na Merry Christmas, nako, talagang yakapin nyo. Maraming salamat. Kasi wala nang bumabati ng Merry Christmas. I don't know if it's changed already. But, I don't know. Huh? Bakit? We have exploited and destroyed the very essence of Christmas, which is God giving the greatest gift that man have ever seen in the person of Jesus. Giving. Kung lahat po tayo, lahat manghihingi, alam niyo po, walang tatanggap. We will always end up frustrated. We will be disappointed to one another. But, if we start giving, I assure you, everyone will receive. If every one of us will take the initiative to give, whatever you have, whatever you can afford, I assure you, everyone will receive. The reason why we are always falling short of resources, because everyone wants to get. The reason for this world mystery, according to Pope Francis, is a complacent and covetous heart. Let us pray. Let us pray that this year, even in the midst of this pandemic, COVID-19 or not, crisis or not, we will have, we will prove to the world that we have found God by, by sharing our joy, by praying and thanking God, and becoming more generous. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down to heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Encouraged by the example of the Magi, we present our gifts and petitions to the Lord, saying, Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For the church, the new Jerusalem, to which the Lord calls all the peoples of the world, may she always be a resplendent sign of God's universal love, let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. For the Holy Father and all other spiritual leaders, may their teaching and example be like bright stars that lead people to Jesus. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. For our missionaries who strive to bring the light of the Christian faith to those who do not know it, may they succeed in integrating the gospel values with the local cultures, let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. For each one of us gathered here, may we always follow the guidance of God's word as proclaimed by the church, let us pray. 
Lord, graciously hear us. For an end to the pandemic, that God may grant health to the sick, strength to those who care for them, and comfort to families, let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord Jesus, like Jerusalem, we rise up in splendor because your light has come. May our behavior become like a star that leads others to you who live and shine forever and ever. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look with favor, Lord, we pray, on these gifts of your church in which are offered now, not gold or frankincense or myrrh, but He who by them is proclaimed sacrifice and received jesus christ who lives and reigns forever and ever amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your heart we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for today you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations. And when he appeared in our mortal nature, you made us new by the glory of his immortal nature. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of her glory as without and we acclaim. For those who cannot kneel, please put your right hand on your chest as a sign of reverence. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, 
by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim, we proclaim your, your death, O Lord, Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray that God's kingdom be upon us and in our lives. May God's will be done. Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of her mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of her church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. Go before us with heavenly light, O Lord, always and everywhere, that we may perceive with clear sight and revere with true affection the mystery in which you have willed us to participate through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Let Lord... Let us all kneel and pray the Oratio Imperata. Oratio Imperata against COVID-19. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission Protect the medical experts, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Held of the Sea, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungso, pray for us. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, who has called you out of darkness into his wonderful light, pour out in kindness his blessing upon you and make your hearts firm in faith, hope, and charity. Amen. And since in all confidence you follow Christ, who today appeared in the world as a light shining in darkness, may God make you to a light for your brothers and sisters. Amen. And so when your pilgrimage is ended, may you come to him whom the Magi sought as they followed the star and whom they found with great joy the light from light who is Christ the Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go now in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.
please be seated for a while.